All right, up and running with another math lesson. Thank you very much for joining me today. Broadcasting to you from the heart of the south side of the city of Edmonton. We're gonna get right to it here. We're gonna be talking a little bit about squaring numbers and square rooting them. I made a more detailed lesson um, way back when. It's somewhere on my site. Uh, this is more of an overview today. And we will start first off by looking at squaring numbers. Look, you give me 10, 15 minutes of your time, you take some diligent notes, you're gonna remember this stuff here. Let's get started with some um, brief examples. If you see this here, it's, uh, it's important to know how to read it first. It states four squared. That little two here means squared, which means that we have to take the four and write it two times and multiply them. So you get 16. The common error is people will multiply the four and the two and they'll get eight, but clearly that is incorrect. Now on the other side here, we have A and another A in brackets. And by now we understand that if we see letters, they stand for mystery numbers. And if we see brackets separating two numbers, we indicate, well, we refer to that as multiplication. So here we have A times A. That's the way it is said, A times A. And the only thing we can do with this is write it as a squared because it's the same a multiplied twice, one, two, so we write it two. Quickly over here, nine squared is nine times nine. I'm gonna write 81. And b times b, we could just say b squared. Quickly over to this one, six squared is gonna be 36. That's six times six and c times c, will just be c squared. Seven exponent two, that's another way we can say it, seven with a two exponent, that's just seven times seven, we know that's 49, and d times d is just d squared. Go ahead, try these examples, pause the video, I'm gonna just write them down now, assuming you've unpaused it, you should have written nine, four, 64, not 16, 64, eight times eight, and 10 times 10, that's clearly 100. On the other side, you should have written F to the power of two, um, or F squared, G squared, H squared, and uh, guess what, I times I is I squared. Give yourself a mark out of eight. If you got eight out of eight, I think it's uh, okay to keep moving on. Otherwise, uh, review that last portion. Now we've got squaring versus square rooting. We're gonna look at the difference here. What does four square really mean? It means four times four. We understand that. And when we multiply the same number, that's kind of like building a square. You take two dimensions that are the same digit. You've built yourself a square with an area of 16, right, four times four, that makes an area of 16. So four times four is really, when you see it in this format, you're essentially just building a square with these dimensions, and that gets you 16. Now this funky looking sign over here, it looks like a long division sign, but the long division sign is rounded. This is pointy. So you know what pointy means? It means uh, square root. It means whatever is underneath the sign, whatever is underneath it, anything that you see there, you have to write as the area of the square. So put it in the middle. And the answer will be whatever the dimensions are of this square. So it'll be a two by two. So the answer is just two. You look at this one here, we see the same square root sign, and you know, two squared is four, isn't it? This says the square root of four, and this says the square root of four. But don't write it like this, don't write four. Keep it in the same format to show me you know what's going on. Whatever is under the sign, this is what Mr. Melham's rule is, whatever is under this square root sign has to go in the middle. So write it the way you see it. Now in our minds, we'll say four. And we know the dimensions have to be two and two, so the answer is just two. We got here three more. Here it says nine squared, so we'll build a square. And our answer will be 81 because that will be the area. Here, whatever is under the square root sign, right. We have to put it underneath this. So we'll write nine. And the answer will be the dimensions. So it'll be three. Three and three. That makes nine. Look at this one here. That also says the square root of nine. 
but it's written as three exponent two. So in your mind, say nine, and you know then the dimensions have to be three and three. So we'll say it is just three. Look at this, the square root of two squared is two. The square root of three squared is three. What do you think the square root of a squared is? Probably a. Let's see why that is. Because this has to go in here. Now we have to find a number multiplied by itself to make a square, and the only thing that works is a. a times a is a square. We did it way back here, we said, B times B is B squared. A times A is A squared. That's the number that we need. So we'll say A and A. That's the square root of A squared. Now you try this. If you get 100%, then you can move on to the next part. Go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to just write the answers down now. 5 squared, you should have put the 5's over here. That gets you 25. 3 squared, put the 3's over here. That gets you 9. The square root of 25, you should have put the 25 inside, and then you would have gotten an answer of 5. Here, you would have put 16 on the inside, you would have gotten an answer of 4. That's my dimensions. Here, you should have written 3 squared on the inside, and that's just uh, 3 and 3, so we'll just write equals 3. 5 square inside, dimensions are 5 and 5. So this equals 5. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, this one here is just going to be W times W makes W squared. So our answer will be W. If you got, let's see here, one, two, four, six. If you got seven out of seven on this part, feel good about yourself. You know, but don't stop yet. We got more to come. Because now we're just going to focus on square rooting and nothing but square rooting. Look, I've got the square root of 16 here. And over here, I've got the square root of 16. 4 to the power of 2 is 16. So here we would have put 16 here. The dimensions clearly are 4 and 4. So we just write the answer as 4. Don't write 4, 4. Don't write, just write it once, 4. And here now, let's, we got to write some words out. We got to explain ourselves. So we're going to say here, now what is the square root of 4 squared? What is that? It's going to make 4. Because 4 times 4 equals... Well, that says 16, but we're going to write it as 4 squared. That's why. Here, we have square root of 81, and that's going to make 9. Because 9 times 9 is 81. 9 times 9 makes my 81. Well, that also says 81. 9 and 9 is 81. So it also makes, the square root of it also makes 9, because 9 times 9 is 81, but don't write 81. Write it the way you see it, 9 squared. Prove to me you understand this. Rockin' and rollin' to C squared here, the square root of it. Well, we're going to write C squared here. That means C and C. Look, equals C. And the square root of C squared is going to be C because, why? Because C times C equals C squared. Here we got a few more. I'm going to I'm not going to fill these squares in. I'm just going to go straight to the answer. Here we get 4. Actually, maybe I should draw this because uh look, if you put 4 squared on the inside, in your mind you say what? You say 16 and that means it has to be 4 and 4. So we just say 4. And so now let's let's go ahead and explain ourselves. We got here 4 because 4 times 4 equals 4 squared. Right? 4 squared. We have the square root of 9 squared, so we'll put 9 squared here, we'll write 9 and 9 is 9 squared, so the square root of 9 squared is going to be 9 because 9 times 9 is 9 squared, which is uh, 81. We got here one more, we got C squared, the square root of that, so that means uh, anything under the square root sign goes in the box, the dimensions have to be C and C, so we'll write C because C times C is what? C squared. We got some more square rooting here. We got B squared in the box. So my dimensions are going to be B and B. So the square root of B squared is, is going to be B because B times B is B squared. See, this is not that hard, is it? The square root of D squared, let's just skip to it. We'll say it's D because D times D equals D squared. 
over here, what do you think that's going to be? Probably an F because F times F equals F squared. I think there's a furniture shop with that name somewhere. Go ahead. This is uh, the last slide, I believe. Yeah, you've made it to the end. Go ahead. Try these here. Fill out the squares. Fill out all these blanks. I'm going to give you a mark of three, one for each of these. I'm going to give you a mark of three for each of these and three. So this is nine marks. Go ahead and pause the video. Let's go ahead and write them down now. So we got here W squared is what needed to go inside. That makes W and W for my dimensions. So we write W because W times W equals W squared. Give yourself a mark, a mark, and a mark. That's a three mark kind of question. Second part, you should have written, uh, what should you have written here? You should have, uh, well, you should have put the Z squared here because it's under the root sign. And then you're going to put Z and Z. And so the square root is going to be Z because Z times Z. We know that makes, uh, makes Z squared. Here we've got the square root of 49. So we put 49 inside, dimensions are going to be 7 and 7. So the square root of 49 is going to be 7 because why? Because 7 times 7 equals 49. Ladies and gentlemen, mark yourself here 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If you got all 9 here, give yourself 9 out of 9. You should be very proud of yourself. I'm up to almost 13 minutes here. That's not bad. 13 minutes of your time. Ah! Yeah. <laughs>